Hey everyone, Jordan from Let's Launch here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool app that's actually from Adobe. And it's free to download in the App Store. It's called Adobe Capture. Uh, you might not be familiar with it, but you can actually do a lot of cool stuff with it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can basically take a picture of something or import a picture of something and create a LUT directly from it and have it automatically sync over to Photoshop. So let's hop onto the iPhone and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are on the iPhone. You can see I have Adobe Capture installed here. Again, I'll put the link in the description down below so you can just click on there for both iOS and Android. Uh, but when we open this app here, uh, it's going to have you sign into your Adobe account. So that's very important because you want to uh, be able to have all of the stuff that you have in this app automatically sync over to your Photoshop. That's very, very important because that's the main benefit of doing this on your mobile device. So uh, you can see up here at the top, we have a couple things. We have all assets, which basically shows you, uh, you can do almost anything in here, but it's mainly gonna show you over here what types of things you can create in this app. So uh, for example, audio, you can import audio and it'll do its best to try to uh, transcribe it. So if you wanna have a transcription of something, that's a cool way of doing that. Uh, type, you can uh, take a picture of something and it'll do its best to kind of match the specific typeface that's uh, on the picture or something like that. It's very, very cool. Uh, you can see we have a lot of options here. The one we're gonna concentrate on it where it says looks right there. So up at the top we have looks and you can see we have two buttons down here, two, two blue buttons. You have the camera button and you have the, uh, like the photo button. Uh, so the camera button is gonna allow you, let's say I'll just um, click that and you can see I'm pointing it at my camera here. And uh, what, what it's basically doing is up at the top, you can see that there are some colors that are moving around. This is actually sampling the colors from the image. So uh, these are the actual colors uh, in the, the range, the color spectrum that are in this image. If I were to go over here to my monitor, you can see the colors change and it's uh, reading the wallpaper colors here. So uh, that, that's a way of doing it there. But what you can also do is take a picture uh, from your, your photo gallery and import it in. So uh, let's go ahead and find a picture. And to do that, what I'm gonna do is just click on the button down here, the left button, and that'll open uh, up this option here. You can kind of uh, import from uh, your camera roll, your creative cloud, if you have images stored there, Lightroom. I'm just gonna go do camera roll here, and it's gonna pull up uh, your camera images. So I picked this one. I picked this one mainly because this is the uh, the last movie I watched. Uh, so I wanted to sample the images from this. And what you can see is we have the same thing up top. It's sampling all the colors that are uh, in this color range in this image. So you have the dark blues, the dark greens, uh, the red, the yellows, all kinds of those colors there. So once we have our image imported, we're going to click the check mark at the bottom here. And that's going to open up what is kind of like an intensity slider. So uh, what we have here is a sample image and you can see if we're going from left to right on the top here, uh, we have uh, the, the white, the blue, the green, so on and so forth. So it's going down from the lighter to the darker. Uh, and what we can do here is, let's say for the white here, we wanna increase or decrease the intensity of it so we can slide this over. So you can see we're getting a little bit less pure white there. So I'm gonna do it there. And then we're gonna go through the colors. You don't have to go through all of them. Uh, but this is just allowing you to change the intensity. So uh, we can have a little bit more of this light blue. We have a little bit of like a sage here and we're just increasing or decreasing the intensity. So let's say I want a little bit more blue. I can take this all the way up, uh, take this uh, kind of tan color, take it down a little bit and just kind of go through the image. Uh, so we have this sample image here. We also have a sample video so you can see how it would look on a video. So here's a red, we want more red there. Uh, a little bit less blue and um, you can also import an image of your own to sample it as well i'm not going to do that but that is an option for you uh, so again you can just play around with these colors and all you're really doing is changing the intensity of the color so if you want a little bit more saturation in one color than the other that's the way to do it so now that we have it looking pretty much the way we want to um, i'm actually going to add a little bit less red so right there we're going to click the save button at the top now this will allow you to name the image. So I'm gonna call it uh, Ghostbusters um, and then do LUT there and click done. And here it says save to. Uh, mine says Adobe Capture LUTs. That is a folder I created uh, that is synced to my Photoshop. Uh, when you create a folder here, it's gonna automatically sync. So um, if you uh, 
want to name something, you certainly can, or it's just going to do a default uh, a default uh, folder here. It's going to go to like my library, but you can create your own. Go in there and click the plus button up there and create your own. And then down here, uh, there's some more recommendations for auto capturing. Uh, you can click all of these if you want to. I typically don't. I just leave it as that image right up there at the top left. And then what we're going to do is just click save. So now we have this look uh, right here. If we go to our looks, even though we were in all assets right there, we have our look right there. So this is the, the, the LUT that we basically just created. So now how do we get this into Photoshop? The beauty of having the Creative Cloud subscription is that it's automatically syncing over to your Photoshop. So now we're going to hop into Photoshop and I'll show you how to apply this, uh, this LUT to your photos. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and we're going to go to our libraries panel because that's where everything is pretty much stored as far as the Adobe Capture stuff goes, where you can uh, have all your stuff sync over. So here in Photoshop, we're going to go over to Window. And we're going to click on uh, libraries right here and that's going to open your libraries panel i have mine stored up here um, and you can see right here that's where we created our ghostbusters lut uh, it was very simple it just synced over and it's it's actually kind of fun and very interesting that you can sync stuff from your phone to your photoshop and create a look like on the go if you see a cool poster outside walking around downtown or something you can snap a picture of that poster and you really like those colors you can easily just snap a picture, make, a, make the LUT real quick, and when you get home, it's automatically synced over to your Photoshop, and you can go ahead and start editing. Very cool. So we have this LUT here. All we're gonna do really to apply it is just double click on it. And you can see it applies that LUT to our image. Now, uh, I, I played with a little bit of the intensity. Uh, if, I wanted for, if I knew I wanted this photo to be edited with this LUT, I probably would have edited or imported this photo directly to my phone so I can see how it looks. Uh, so you can see we have a little bit too much red here. I can I have a couple options here. I can uh, go ahead and go back in there and change the intensity and have it resync. Not a big deal. Or I can just simply play around with blending modes or opacity to make sure the LUT is uh, applied correctly. So let's play with the, the opacity. We're just going to take it down a little bit. And you can see I do like the red. Uh, so I'm going to keep that there. I don't, I don't want to mess with too much of the red. It's already got a lot of red in the image with her shirt and her lips and stuff like that. I really like that red color anyway. So you can see we just took it down 50% and we're good to go. It's kind of like a mix slider in, uh, in, in Final Cut Pro or Premiere where you can change the intensity of it. So I really like the way that looks. If I wanted to play with blending modes, I can obviously do that as well. I can go down here and just mess with some of these blending modes like Lighten, that one looks really cool. You can see the difference it makes as that really cool red tone. And then you can still play with the opacity. So we're basically just able to create a bunch of LUTs uh, via our phone and we can play with it more in Photoshop. So uh, that's a really quick tutorial on the Adobe Capture. There's so much more that it can do. Uh, but this is the one uh, tool that I found that I really, really like because I can, like I said, walk around downtown or uh, find something that, uh, that online that I really like the colors of uh, and the tonal range and all that kind of stuff. I can take that photo, make a LUT out of it, and then kind of customize it to my liking uh, based on uh, my personal preference. So uh, if you guys want to download that Adobe Capture, this is obviously not sponsored by them, but if you want to download that, link's in the description down below. And you can follow this tutorial and create your own LUTs uh, for free. It's very, very fun to do. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. Head on over to LUTSLounge.com. More tutorials, more LUTs, more fun stuff over there. We're trying to add as much as possible every day. But uh, thank you guys for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.